Okay, James, you got me now. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay, good. Thanks. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for doing this. Through the start of camp here, you know, you and uh, Chase on have been skating with Jujar throughout the course of the season. You, you've played with other centers. I'm looking even at, at Tyler Ennis, not an Oiler for very long, but but he's been on a variety of different lines. I'm just wondering, how would you characterize the versatility of the Oilers forward group and maybe in comparison to some other really good teams that you've played on in the past? Yeah, I think it gives us good depth. I think, um, you know, with uh, with the trades coming in and then some injuries, I think, uh, you know, everyone was just trying trying to find uh, where they slotted in and, and how we were going to make all the lines work. So, um, you know, we're still working at that, but I think right now we're, we, we've got good depth in, uh, in our lines and, uh, and through the center position. So uh, that's, uh, that's a huge thing to have going in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, I like, uh, I like the chemistry uh, Juju, Jujar and, uh, and Chaser have uh, with each other. And, um, you know, we've been uh, solid through camp so far. Next question, excuse me, next question, Jim Matheson. Jim, as soon as your microphone's active, you can ask. Go ahead. Uh, James, uh, one question here. You played uh, on a bad ankle for a long time. How difficult was that? And is this the, the uh, healthiest you've been since early in the uh, National Hockey League season? Yeah, no, that was, uh, the, the break gave me a, a chance to heal, which is, which is huge. Uh, ankle is tough. Ankle injuries, foot injuries, uh, kind of hand injuries. Those things just nag at you. Uh, quite a bit so um, you know I did everything I could to get back when I when I did and then uh, uh, now that I've had the, the chance to heal I, I, I feel feel good so um, that's a huge huge plus for uh, for myself going into going to the playoffs here uh, I don't think the, the body's been this healthy and uh, this refreshed going into playoffs ever so um, I think a lot of guys can can say the same around the league and, and on our team so uh, I've liked our pace in, uh, in camp so far we, we're skating well and um, we'll just continue to ramp it up here Next question, Jason Greger. Jason, as soon as your microphone is active, you can ask your question. Go ahead. James, you have a lot of experience going to the Stanley Cup Finals, of course, back-to-back -back years. The Oilers don't have a ton of playoff experience, but neither really did your Vegas team. Is playoff experience overrated at times, and, and how do you feel it will impact your team in such an unprecedented situation this year? I don't, I don't think it's overrated. I think obviously you need, uh, you know, you see the way experienced teams play and, um, you know, what they do in tight games, what they do when, uh, uh, you know, when things turn around quick and uh, after losses and, um, you know, after wins. So, uh, you know, I'll try to help the guys out as much as I can with, uh, with the experience of I, I've had and, um, and going through the playoffs. But uh, at the same time, uh, it's a young, uh, young guy's game. And, um, you know, we, we've got uh, elite, elite skill in our, in our dressing room, and we got guys that are, uh, are real competitors. So um, they've been itching to get into playoffs and, and play playoff hockey. And obviously this scenario is a little different, but uh, at the same time, uh, you know, we're all going for the same goal to win a Stanley Cup. And um, for us, we're, we're doing everything possible here in, in training camp to, to get us to, uh, to where we need to be to, to be ready to, uh, to go after that. And uh, like I said before, I think, uh, you know, our group's done a great job at, uh, at being ready here in the gym and, and on the ice and, and our pace is, is really good. So, um, you know, everyone's got a, a solid shot of winning a Stanley Cup this year. So, uh, you know, we got, uh, we got the guys that can do it. We got the guys that believe that we can do it. And, um, you know, that's a good start. Uh, next question from Mark Spector. Mark, go ahead. Thanks, James. Uh, you've been around hockey a long time. This is such a goofy year, 2020. We got COVID going on. We stopped the season, trying to come back and pull this thing off. Now the, the roof's falling in on the rink last night. You're about to go into this bubble with 11 other teams and play a whole playoff round, uh, set of rounds here in one rink. Have you, I mean, obviously you've never been through something like this, but do you ever sit back and think like, what, you know, this is a once in a lifetime deal here. Uh, what are your thoughts on all that? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, it's like that for everybody. Everyone's going through a tough time, and um, whether you're a hockey player, or business owner, or a uh, college student, anything, I think, you, you know, it's a tough time for everybody, and no one's been uh, through anything like this. But I think, uh, you know, you can always make uh, uh, make up excuses or, uh, or complain about something. I think for us, you know, we get a chance to go back on the ice and do something we love and something we've done every day for – for our whole lives. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, 
you know, I'm playing in the NHL and I'm, I'm doing uh, what I dreamed of doing. So uh, when you're around the guys and you're at the rink, it's, uh, it's great. It's just like normal. So for us, I think, uh, you know, the more you can kind of shut the brain off to the outside, outside things and, and kind of just focus on, um, you know, going into your, going into your bubble, going into your hotel room and um, trying to take your mind away from, from the little things and, and then going in and focusing on playing hockey, I think. Uh, the team that can do that with all their guys and uh, and not worry about what's going on on the outside is uh, is going to be uh, a little ahead of the game. So, um, like I said, just at the end of the day, I'm doing something I love. I get a chance to play uh, play hockey for a living, and uh, I'm getting older here, and uh, you know I want to play as long as I can. So uh, I'm just kind of trying to take it in stride and, and enjoy it, and I get a chance to play for the Stanley Cup again. So um, you know, really couldn't be happier. Couple more questions for James. Uh, next up, uh, Jason Greger. Go ahead, Jason. James, you talked about you know the opportunity that your team has here. You have the the Art Ross guy. Of course, you've got McDavid, who's won it many times. When you have you, you know those type of unique guys, but depth is key come playoff time. And you and Alex and Jujar seem to be aligned right now. Have you looked a lot at Chicago? Maybe more than you ever have, because usually in playoffs you got four days before round one. And then you got a few days between every round to kind of prepare for an opponent. You've known for two months who you've played. Does that change anything at all? Did you watch more of Chicago just to pass the time? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, you got to know your opponent for sure. Um, matchups a huge thing going into playoffs. So for us, uh, you know, coming into camp right now, we're kind of just focused on ourselves. We're kind of getting getting back. Uh, uh, you know, in the, into the routine of uh, playing and skating and getting our game legs back here as best as we can. And then, uh, you know, we'll start to really focus in on in, Chicago, in on Chicago and, and their tendencies and, and what they like to do. So uh, that's kind of the game within the game. Uh, but, uh, you know, we know that they're a, they're a highly skilled team um, and they're a veteran team uh, up top with their top guys who, who've, uh, who have won Stanley Cups before and, and know how hard it is to, to win in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, we'll dig deeper and deeper into them as, as we go along here. But uh, right now, our focus is kind of just getting back to, uh, to where we need to be to, to compete at a high level. We have a final question from uh, Jim Matheson. Jim, as soon as your microphones are active, you can go ahead. A couple of things, James. What game did you hurt your ankle in and, and did you retweak it in another game? And the other question I have for you is playing on that line with Jason and Dujar, how do you have to change your game at all when playing with obviously Connor or Leon? Obviously, it's not quite the same thing. Uh, yeah, uh, I hurt my I hurt my ankle the first uh, second period of uh, the Calgary game. Uh, Buddy Robinson on Calgary fell on my fell on my leg. It was kind of just quick quick little thing and fell on my ankle and. Uh, and then I, I thought I wouldn't be out too long, and then I heard it again in practice, and uh, it set me back a long time. So um, I feel good. Uh, Feel good coming back here, so uh, just kind of, uh, you know, excited to get going. And Jim, what was the second part of your question? Yeah, sorry, I missed that one. Uh, Jim, with, I'm going to go ahead, Jim. And playing with uh, Chase on. And oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you obviously have to, you obviously have to adjust uh, whether you're playing with Leon, Connor, or playing with Juju, I think. Uh, uh, you know, I've done that my whole career. I've, I've been up and down uh, on different lines, and um, you know, for us, we're working on chemistry. We need to be a we're we're a big line, a bunch of big guys, so we need to be physical and uh, play a playoff style of, of game. And we want to be in the offensive zone a lot. So uh, I thought we did really well uh, at the end of the at the uh, at the end there before uh, all this stuff happened. But uh, uh, I think we we're doing good out there, and maybe we left off. So um, you know, lines. Lines, uh, they get mixed up uh, fast, but I think, like I said, our depth is, uh, is a big key, and um, wherever guys are in the lineup, uh, we're solid throughout.